One of Ontario's more interesting anomalies is that the only road access to the world's largest freshwater island is via a railway bridge. Since the end of the last ice age, Manitoulin Island was considered a sacred place for its aboriginal populations. Europeans began to drive those inhabitants from their land in the 1860s and within a few years most of that land was in the hands of the settlers. For several decades the hay weeders as the Manitolian pioneers called themselves depended on water crossings to link them with the mainland. Then, in 1893, the Algoma Eastern Railway began building a track from Sudbury to the island with the idea that its line would eventually link up with a line to Torbermary on the tip of the Bruce Peninsula. To span the gap between the mainland and the island, a long bridge was needed, one that would also allow the passage of the busy steamship traffic of the North Channel. In 1913, the bridge opened to train traffic at 225 meters long. It contained a 112 meter span, which swings open and allow ships to pass. Until 1946, it served rail only, with all other traffic using a nearby ferry. Finally, in the 1980s, train service was cut back and the bridge planked in. Today, the entire rail line has been abandoned. 